welcome to all of you now we start the question answer 2022 paper cc12 multiple choice question group theory 2 and linear algebra 2 semester 5 cbcs mathematics honors university of calcutta question paper 2022 <coughs> paper cc12 question 1a which of the following may be order of an element of the group s3 cross s3 now s3 is a symmetric group uh, and s3 contains uh, these elements uh, row 0, row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4, row 5 mm. where uh, this row 0 is the identity permutation 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 row 1, 1, 2, 3 row 2, 1, 3, 2 row 3, 2, 3 row 4, 1, 3 and row 5, 1, 2 and order of row 0, 1 order of row 1, 3 order of row 2, 3 order of row 3 and row 4 and row 5 equal to 2 clearly s3 contains the elements of order 1 2 and 3 let a comma b belongs to s3 then this order pair a comma b belongs to s3 cross s3 and the order of this order pair a comma b equal to the lcm of order of a and order of b now uh, this lcm of 1 1 lcm of 1 2 and all of the uh, highest lcm is lcm of 3 2 uh, which is 6 or 2 3 uh, that is 2 3 means either uh, this a equal to row 3 and, and this b equal to uh, row 2 and this the highest uh, contains this uh, we here 6 is the only option uh, 1 2 3 and 6 but here only option is 6 so correct option is 2 6 hence the correct option is 2 question b which of the following is the possible number of abelian groups of order 12 Let G be an abelian group of order 12. Now 12 equal to 2 to the power 2 into 3 to the power 1. Hence G equal to G2 uh, plus G3 that is the direct sum of the subgroups G2 and G3. Clearly the order of G2 is 2 square and order of G3 is equal to 3 because uh, this uh, gp equal to the set of all elements g belongs to g such that g is a order of p to the power s for some s belongs to natural number union uh, the singleton set 0 that is non positive uh, non negative integers non negative integers and p is prime and gp is a subgroup of g so uh, g3 is isomorphic to z3 because this order of G3 is 3 and Z3 is 3 and so on. Uh, then next consider G2 since order of G2 is 2 square and there exist 2 partitions of 2. Uh, this 2 square so we can write uh, either 2 or 1 plus 1. Uh, if order of GP equal to P to the power N and N equal to N1 plus N2 plus dot 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 plus NK n1 greater than equal to n2 greater than equal to dot 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 greater than equal to nk and n1 n2 nk are partitions of n and these partitions of 2 here hence there are two non isomorphic abelian groups of order 2 square z4 that is z2 square 
and Z2 plus Z2. Hence, uh, there are two non isomorphic abelian groups of order 12 uh, Z4 plus Z3 for this Z4 and for this Z3 because here G is equal to G2 and G3. And for G2, for this G2, uh, we get uh, this Z4 and Z2 plus Z2. And for this G3, we get Z3 isomorphic set. So, isomorphic group. So, we get uh, Z2 plus Z2 plus Z3. Uh, note that uh, a finite abelian group G is called P group if the order of G equal to P to the power n for some prime P and some non negative integer n. Any fi finite abelian P group G of order P to the power n in greater than 0 can be decomposed uniquely as G equal to GP1 plus GP2 plus dot dot plus GPK, where GPI is a cyclic group of order PI to the power ni, 1 less than equal to i less than equal to k, where p to the power n equal to p1 to the power n1, p2 to the power n2, pk to the power nk, n equal to n1 plus n2 plus dot dot plus nk, and these pi's are the distinct primes and ni's are the positive integers. So, correct option is to uh, the number of non isomorphic p groups of order p to the power n is equal to the number of partitions of n. So, uh, number of non isomorphic abelian groups p groups of order p to the power n uh, this is equal to partition of n and so we get this partition for this 2 we get partition is 2 to 1 plus 1 and so on. Hence the correct option is uh, 2. Question C. If Z plus is the additive group of all integers, then which of the following is the possible order of automorphism Z? Question C. Uh, this is the question. Now, uh, order of automorphism Z z is the set of all in integers uh, equal to 2 and that is the order of z2 and since automorphism z is isomorphic to z2 and see the question paper 2023 same paper cc12 and question 1c details answer uh, is given here so correct option is 2 Next question, question D, which of the following is the order of any non identity element of Z3 cross Z3? Uh, let uh, E being the identity, uh, this is not equal to order pair A, comma B belongs to z3 cross z3 since uh, this a comma b order pair is not the identity at least one of a comma b is not the identity because this order pair is not the identity element at least one of these elements not identity element here uh, Z3 is the set of all residue classes, class 0, class 1, class 2. So Z3 cross Z3 is this order pair class 0, class 0, comma, class 0, class 1 and so on. So order of Z cross Z, Z, cross, Z3 cross Z3 is 9. There are 9 elements in Z3 cross Z3. Every non-identity element and this is the class 0, comma, class 0 is the identity element and every non identity element in Z3 has order 3 because 
uh, this order of class 1 is 3 and order of class 2 equal to 3 uh, because this class 1 3 into class class 1 this is equal to class 3 equal to class 0 and 2 into class 2 equal to class 6 this is equal to class 0 is the least <coughs> positive integer 3 so uh, order of this order pair a comma b is the lcm of order of a comma order of b now order of class 0 comma order of class 1 equal to the lcm of class 0 order of class 0 is 1 and order of class 1 is 3 so this is equal to 3 and lcm of class 1 and class 2 um, uh, order of class 2 is 3 comma 3 so this 3 and so on so the order of any non identity element of this z3 cross z3 is 3 so correct option is 1 next question e if z2 and z3 be two groups under addition modulo 2 and 3 respectively then which of the following is true question e now order of z6 equal to 6 order of z2 equal to 2 order of z3 equal to 3 and gcd of 2 3 2 and 3 is 1 prime to each other 2 and 3 hence we can write z6 yeah, isomorphic to z2 cross z3 if g be a cyclic group of order mn this theorem where gcd of m and n equal to 1 then there exist subgroups h and k of order m and n respectively such that g is isomorphic to h cross k so here 6 equal to 2 into 3 and this 2 and 3 prime to each other so gcd to 2 and 3 1 hence z 6 equal to this note that zn plus is a cyclic group of order n if m divides n and n comma n m belongs to the set of natural numbers then there exist a unique subgroup of the group g of order m here g be a cyclic group of order n so correct option here uh, this 2 question e 2 question f if vf is an inner product space and v perpendicular is orthogonal complement of v then which is the correct option correct option is 2 uh, because this v perpendicular is the set of all those alpha belongs to v such that inner product of alpha beta equal to 0 for all beta belongs to v also we have inner product of alpha alpha is equal to 0 uh, this implies alpha equal to the null vector theta of v so v perpendicular is theta so correct option is 2 v perpendicular the orthogonal complement of v is v perpendicular equal to theta correct option is 2 next question g if a linear transformation t maps r3 to r3 is defined by t x comma y comma z equal to x plus y comma minus z x plus y minus z comma x minus z comma y minus z for all x comma y comma z belongs to r3 then t star x comma y comma z equal to what this t star is the adjoint operator of t Uh, we try to this method uh, this 
discharge the adjoint operator of t then uh, we write inner product of t alpha comma beta equal to inner product of alpha comma t star beta let alpha equal to this order triplet x y z and beta equal to order triplet a comma b comma c then inner product t alpha comma beta equal to t alpha is the x minus x plus y minus z comma x minus o z comma y minus z and beta equal to a comma b comma c then uh, standard inner product a into this plus b into this plus c into this and this equal to x common and this 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 so we can write inner product of x comma y comma z comma this order triplet a plus b comma a plus c comma minus a minus b minus c and this equal to this x y z is alpha so this is equal to t star beta by definition so t star beta equal to a plus b comma a plus c minus a minus b minus c and we can use alternate method this t x y z is this given x plus y minus z x plus 0 y minus z 0 x plus y minus z here r3 is the finite dimensional real vector space we want to find the associated matrix a of t or mt uh, relative to, st to standard basis standard order basis of r3 so we can write uh, this 1 1 minus 1 and for this element and 1 0 minus 1 and for this 0 1 minus 1 x y z so a x this is the t beta a is the associated matrix uh, for this t so we write t beta standard basis uh, standard order basis of r3 beta into x a now we know that a star equal to a bar transpose a bar is the complex conjugate whole transpose this is equal to a transpose because here a is the real matrix so this a transpose so uh, interchange the row, rows and columns so this 1 1 0 1 0 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 so t star x y z equal to a star x this a star is this x y z so x plus y comma x plus z comma minus x minus y minus z Notes 1, let T maps V to W be a linear transformation between the inner product spaces V and W and then the adjoint of T denoted by T star is the map, T star maps W to V such that T W comma T V comma W inner product equal to inner product of V comma T star W for all V belongs to V and for all W belongs to W. This T star a linear transformation and it is unique this a star matrix that is the a bar transpose or a transpose the whole bar is the hermitian adjoint or simply adjoint of a the superscript star denotes the conjugate transpose here of a matrix this a star is the adjoint of linear transformation a between the standard inner product spaces for finite dimensional vector spaces so, uh, correct option is 1 here. Next question H. Which of the following is the signature of the quadratic form xy plus yz plus zx? Now, this Q this quadratic form q we can write in this matrix notation uh, this row matrix this matrix associated symmetric matrix and x y z column matrix so uh, this this x capital x x y z so x transpose a x where corresponding symmetric matrix a is 0 half 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 0 half 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 0 now we apply congruence operation uh, to reduce it normal form of a so first two operation r1 plus r2 next c1 plus c2 next operation 2r2 2c2 we get this next r2 minus r1 r3 minus r1 we get this matrix and similar column operation c2 minus c1 c3 minus c1 now we get this matrix and this is the normal form of a here 
uh, there are non non zero rows number of non zero rows is 3 so rank of a equal to 2 this is the smaller and a means the index of a or q the number of positive ones which is 1 so a equal to 1 and the signature of a equal to twice m minus r uh, this equal to uh, twice m minus r number of positive ones minus num number of negative ones so this 2m minus r equal to 2 into 1 minus 3 this is equal to minus 1 so signature is uh, minus 1 correct option is minus 1 2 question i which of the following is the dimension of the orthogonal complement of the row space of the matrix A given by A equal to 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 5, 3, 4, 7. Dimension of the orthogonal complement of this row space of this matrix. Now consider the system of linear homogeneous equation AX equal to null matrix. Uh, this 1 1 2 so x plus y plus 2 z equal to 0 2 3 5 2 x plus 3 y plus 5 z equal to 0 3 4 7 3 x plus 4 y plus 7 z equal to 0 the third equation is redundant uh, because if we add first and second is 1 plus 2 equal to 3 1 plus 3 equal to 4 2 plus 5 equal to 7 so obviously the third equation uh, is redundant so we discard this third equation now uh, multiplying 2 uh, with the first equation so 2x plus 2y plus 4z equal to 0 and from the second equation this 2x plus 3y plus 5z equal to 0 subtracting and we get minus y minus z equal to 0 that is y equal to minus z and putting this value of y in the equation of i so we get x plus y minus z plus 2z equal to 0 or x plus z equal to 0 or x equal to minus z. So we get uh, put z equal to minus k, k uh, some integer z. So x equal to k, y equal to k and z equal to minus k. So x comma y comma z equal to k common 1 comma 1 comma minus 1. Hence the solution of the system x equal to O are given by k bracket 1 comma 1 comma minus 1 where k belongs to z that is the linear span of this singleton set 1 comma 1 comma minus 1 so the dimension is 1 so dimension is 1 And we have the uh, following theorem if a b a m by n matrix the orthogonal complement of row space of a is the null space of a and the orthogonal complement of the column space of a is the null space of a transpose thus orthogonal complement of uh, row space of a equal to null space of a and the orthogonal complement of column space of A equal to null space of A transpose. What is the null space? The null space of, a M, of an M by N matrix A is the collection of those vectors in Rn such that null space of A is the set of all uh, X matrix X uh, are n dimensional and this Rn belongs to Rn such that Ax equal to O and this is the set of all solutions of the homogeneous uh, system ax equal to o so orthogonal complement of the row space is the null space of a actually null space of a is the uh, solution of this homogeneous system so we solve this homogeneous system so the solution of this homogeneous system null space so by this theorem orthogonal complement of row space a 
actually this is the called null space of a so null space of a is this null space of a is the uh, corresponding system uh, corresponding solution of this homogeneous system so this is the dimension of null space of a actually this is the orthogonal complement of the row space of a hence this is the required answer is 1 Last question J. The minimal polynomial of the zero linear operator on an n dimensional vector space is what? Minimal polynomial of the zero linear operator. Correct option is 3 is x uh, first to define what is the zero linear operator if this capital theta maps from rn to rn and is the zero linear operator on rn then this capital theta operator uh, of alpha equal to small theta this is the null vector um, of this rn for all alpha belongs to rn theta is the null vector of rn and minimal polynomial let t be the linear operator on a finite dimensional vector space b over the field a the minimal polynomial px for the linear operator t is uniquely determined by these three properties px is the minimal polynomial so px is a monic polynomial over the scalar field a with leading coefficient 1 and the number and p t equal to uh, this t is the linear operator uh, if we uh, uh, replace t in place of x then p t equal to null matrix number 3 no polynomial over f which annihilates uh, that means vanishes t has smaller degree than p has actually this px is the smaller degree polynomial such that uh, pt equal to null matrix here uh, this minimal polynomial of zero linear operator this is equal to px equal to x and this uh, zero linear operator is uh, capital theta and also uh, p theta equal to this zero so the smallest degree of px is one that annihilates theta null operator so here uh, this is the px equal to x is the minimal polynomial of the zero linear operator in on an n dimensional vector space so correct option is 3 thank you for watching this video